if you're having trouble coming up with ideas, you're having creative blocks, right? You want to post videos. You want to start making content. You want to work on your personal brand, but you're just not getting ideas. Try walking outside. Okay. Sometimes stepping away from the lab, walking around outside without any music is really beneficial because that's, that's when I believe you're tapping into infinite intelligence. You're tapping into this ether, right? This Wi-Fi essentially of the universe. You're able to tap in and you can't do that when you have music, when you have music blaring through your ears. You can't do that when you're listening to a podcast. You can't do that because you're having that information take up your brain. Your brain isn't open to new information. Basically, it's like a computer, right? A computer doesn't come up with the ideas. The computer taps into the ether. It taps into the internet, the World Wide web, and it's transmuting those ideas through the screen. Okay. So if we use that analogy, we compare it to your brain, right? I believe your brain doesn't actually come up with the ideas. You quiet your brain. You go outside you lock yourself in a room for three hours without noise. You don't talk to anybody. You don't look at your cell phone and you can tap into this ether, right? This old belief that only some people are geniuses and some people aren't, I don't believe is true. Okay. What were these people doing? And if you really research, they were doing exceptional things and a lot of it involved silence abstaining, right? Doing, they were doing things where they could tap into infinite intelligence, right? Like Napoleon Hill, like, uh, great boxers. They restrained. They didn't think about women. They weren't involved in typical activities, right? They were doing things that other people weren't doing. Same with people that write great books. They have creative endeavors they are doing these things where they're getting away from the noise, right? This centralized beehive where we all live, constant just noise, music, advertisements, all these things. This isn't demonizing any of those things. It's just if you want to be as truly creative as you can, you have to be okay with stepping into silence for a period of time. And for me personally, I'm not a big meditator. Okay. I don't, I think meditation is actually great, but for me, how I get my meditation is physical activity. So I walk outside at a decent pace, right? I'm walking decently fast. I'm getting my blood flowing. I'm breathing. I'm looking around. I'm contemplating different ideas. Like I'm just sliding through like this. Like when you're swiping on your phone, I'm just swiping in my mind. Okay. This idea might work. Okay, this idea might not work. And, and you're just, you're tapping into infinite intelligence. You don't have any distractions really. And you are focused on creating new ideas. And creating by getting information from above, from infinite intelligence, and you're able to put your own spin on it. Okay. And you're going to create it. And it's going to be your own content. Now, how do we begin doing this practice? We begin by just getting outside and walking every day with no music. You obviously can bring your phone with you. Just don't be looking at your phone. Stop and looking at your phone. Focus on walking without distraction. Okay. Something about getting the blood flowing, looking around, Getting that panoramic vision, that big vision, I believe, really resets your brain and it opens your mind up to new ideas, to new perspectives, reanalyzing things, uh, re reanalyzing your strategy of whatever you're trying to accomplish. And this can be massive, massive, massive just by shutting off the noise and getting your blood flowing, right? Shutting off the noise, no external distractions. And getting your blood flowing, those two things, when they're mixed together, it ignites 
and it creates this and it gets the creative juices flowing. It taps you in. You're, you're receiving data from above. And this is important because I feel like sometimes we're too shallow. We're, we're not in this deep work state. We're in this shallow work state where we're kind of on our phone, but we're kind of concentrated. We're kind of focused. We're kind of in a creative state, but we're kind of in a shallow state. We're just kind of in that in-between phase. And something about getting your blood flowing and not having music really taps you into the ether and you get into that creative flow. And this isn't easy, right? We live in a hyper-digitalized world. We're hyper-connected and hyper-separated simultaneously, right? So we live in a very strange paradoxical existence, but this isn't, video isn't about that. It's about taking advantage of the ability to concentrate, right? It's a very rare skill in today's age to actually be able to sit in silence, be with your thoughts, contemplate different things in silence, not talking to anybody, not checking your phone, not doing anything like that. And just start small. Start by doing 10 minutes a day of that. Then go to 15. Then go to 20. Then go to 30, right? Because it's basically, it's building a pyramid, right? And you just lay a brick every day. So the more you do it, the more strong you get it, just like lifting weights. The more weight you lift, the more your muscle tears, the bigger it has to get because it knows it has to lift that weight. So the more you galvanize your mind with these practices and you're starting small, okay? You don't want to start extreme and be like, okay, I'm going to do this for two hours because that's unrealistic initially. Literally start with 10 minutes. Be like, I'm going to take a 10-minute walk after one of my meals, no music, no looking at my phone, no talking, nothing. Just breathing, walking, blood flow and build off that. Okay. So start small and just stay consistent. We don't want to have our goals so high that we fail miserably and then it discredits our view of ourselves. And then we just get into this negative cycle of negative beliefs because we feel we're inadequate. We feel we're insufficient because we set our goals too high. Okay. So we want to keep small goals, but stay consistent with them. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That was the entire point of this video was to get you to really tap into your own creativity, tap into infinite intelligence and be, be open-minded to new ideas. Re if things aren't working, if you feel your content isn't exactly the way you want it, your message isn't getting brought out the exact way it wants or the exact way that you want, think about different ways you can do it. And it's going to take being alone in silence, right? Is there value to researching? Is there value to listening to podcasts? Is there value to consulting with people? Of course there is, but not all your answers are going to be solved that way. Ultimately, you are going to have to solve your own problems by tapping into infinite intelligence and sitting in silence because all the answers will come to you then true genius comes to you. You don't create it. It comes to you from above. Okay. And I know maybe a lot of people don't believe in that, but that's why a lot of people don't have crazy creative endeavors because they don't believe in anything greater than themselves. They believe, Oh, I'm going to think of everything in my head, but they're not accepting that there's a power greater than them that is giving you the information and you're just the vessel. You're just transmuting that thing, right? You're a transistor. You're like a TV. The TV doesn't make the image. It doesn't have the information. The TV is getting the information from an external source and it's a transistor, right? Transistor. I don't know if that's the exact right word, but you're basically, what I'm saying is you're getting the data and you're projecting on the screen. That's the same thing that happens in our brain. Think of an artist. A lot of times the artists, they're not, they don't create the landscape that they're painting in their mind. They're seeing it in real life and then they're redrawing it with their edge, their interpretation of it. Okay. So it's the same with ideas. It's the same with 
innovation, all these things. It is a message from above. Okay, so tap into infinite intelligence. And I hope you guys understand. And this helps you to realize your true potential is way greater than you think. But it does require being uncomfortable. And it does require accepting silence and isolation. Okay, too much isolation will make a man sick. But no isolation at all will make a man sick as well. So embrace the silence. Embrace that uncomfortableness and become the best version of yourself. And I wish everybody strength and prosperity and I'll see you guys in the next one.